Hi, welcome to my third tutorial in which I explain how I'm using GitHub to handle my Python packages. In the first two tutorials, I explained how to create a basic folder structure to distribute a Python package, how to create tests using PyTest, and how to handle actions, GitHub actions, so that you, you get validation on pull request and uh, a build job that automatically creates distribu a distribution package that can be published to PyPy and test PyPy. Now, uh, when I publish to PyPy, I like to use uh, something called API token, which lets you specify access to a specific project. But you have to know that to create API tokens, you first need to publish once by hand uh, a package. So. Let's take a look at the PyPy portal first. Here I logged in to my account and you can see if you go under account settings, you uh, scroll to the bottom and you see API tokens. And as you can see, I have several configured for various projects. The same holds true for the test environment of the, of the PyPy, of Python package index. So you can go to test.pypy.org and if you create an account there, you can test your deployments uh, on, the, on this environment before going to production. So let's go to Visual Studio Code, to the action file I described earlier. You can see there are steps to generate a distribution package. So let's see what happens when I do these steps on my local environment. I'm already in the repository with a virtual environment active. So first I will install these tools that lets me generate the distribution package. So now that I installed the tools that are necessary to create a distribution package, let's create one using this command. Python setup sdist bdist wheel. This will create one tarball and one wheel file that can be used to publish the package to the Python package index. So let's try to run this command from the local environment. It completed successfully and it created a folder named List containing, as I said, a wheel file and a tarball. These two files can be used to publish the package, as I said. So let's uh, publish it. The first time, as far as I know, uh, the first time you will need to publish a new package by hand, then you can generate API keys that can be used to automate the process in, uh, in GitHub. And I'm going to show uh, a bit later how to do this. So let's first uh, publish the package to the uh, test environment of the PyPy. As I mentioned in the previous tutorial, I use a Mac file, so I don't have to recall everything by heart. I will copy the task to publish to the test environment from here. So these two tasks, upload test and release they use the twine command upload with a repository URL and saying upload everything which is inside the dist folder. So I will put them in my make file here. And let's try to make an upload for the test pipeline. I enter my username and my password. Mm. The package was uploaded and it, it is telling view at test pipeline project two demo two. And you can see here, I have the readme of my project. 
is this one. The readme gets published thanks to this piece of code. Long description, it trades the contents of the readme. And um, you can see the, the you have the classifiers that uh, are defined in the setup file, the author email, the URL to the GitHub page I configured here. Now let's do the same for the production pipeline. So we will generate API keys and put the secrets in the GitHub repository. So let me go back here. I will make release. And now we have the same in the production Python package index. I personally find it a bit surprising that I have multi-factor authentication enabled on the production PyPy, but I don't need to do multi-factor authentication on uploading a new a new package to it. But um, this is probably a detail of the PyPy. Maybe in the future they will improve the, the command line tool so that they require also this kind of dual factor authentication. So let's go back to the uh, account here. I'm logged in in the production one. I can go on my account settings. I scroll down and there are API tokens. API tokens allow you to publish directly to the PyPy from GitHub Actions to a specific scope. So let's add an API token for the Full demo tool I just uploaded. So it is copied here. I will call it full demo two. And I will copy this token and configure it as a secret in the GitHub uh, repository. Then the secret is referenced in the workflow file I described in the past. Here under the publish, we have secrets PyPy password and secrets test PyPy password. So I just copied the one for the production one, so I, I will create this secret now. So let, let's go to, to the project. This is Roberto Premato full demo. I go under settings, secrets, actions. And I will create a new repository secret. Here it proposed me these two options because it reminds from, uh, from my selections in the past. I select this one and paste this secret. And I will do the same for the test environment. So I go here, account settings, add API token with scope full demo 2. Now I copy this token and add a new repository secret for the test environment. Now uh, I'm ready to start publishing the project to the PyPy through GitHub Actions. And here you can see I'm using the unofficial task, an official action to, to do this, uh, this thing. And in the case of the test PyPy, I have this keep existing. It means that if the package already exists, it will not throw exception. This, uh, it will not log an error, this task. And here I didn't. This is, uh, it doesn't, doesn't really matter. It's a matter of personal preference, what, what you do here, right? But uh, in my case, I want to, when I want to try to publish to the production environment, I want this to fail if the package already exists. So let's go back to the uh, setup file and then let's increase the version number because I just uploaded by hand version 001. And let's do it this way just to keep it quick. I'll go to the setup file. And since I'm administrator of this project, I can up update it directly here. Let's put 
Normally I would do a pull request, but for the sake of brevity, now I will just do it by hand this way. So now the set of files says it's version 002. I can go to the root of my project and create a new release. When I create a new release and I publish it, it will start an action that upload directly to the Python package index, thanks to this condition. If the event name is release, and thanks to this trigger at the top, because this action starts on, on release when it gets published, it will upload directly to the PyPy. Let's take a look how it works. Create a new release. I will add a new tag matching the version of the package I'm going to publish. I'm going to select here, this is the pre-release, so the a few people that are following me on GitHub, they won't be spammed by the information of the new release. Um, and by the way, of course, you could do these things without using releases, but I personally find it very convenient for my projects to have a tag created for the for a release and have the, fi the files published directly to the PyPy this way because then I have the tags on the uh, matching the version that are on PyPy. I will click publish release. This results in the creation of an action, action workflow, let's say. It will build, so it still validates that everything worked, it runs the tests, linters, etc. Then it publishes artifacts for the distribution package, and the publish job will download these artifacts and deploy them to the environments here. If you wanted to make something slightly more sophisticated, you could also improve the condition so that you you publish the test pipi if you are not uh, if you're not on the main, for example, or on the main branch. And then you publish the production pipi only if the release was created for the main branch. But uh, in my case, I find this to be sufficient for my projects. So now you the build completed. And as I said, it will download the distribution artifact and try to upload it. Now, if I did everything properly, I will get the yes. The package that was published to the test environment, the version 2, 002, and to the production. So let's take a look. We go here. And I find it here. And now I can install it regularly when I do pip install. And um, And that's it. Then uh, we can also add the status badges to the readme file. You can take the status badge for an action from here, build, create status badge, and you can copy the markdown. Then you can add it to the readme of the project. Again, for simplicity now, I'm editing the file directly on the portal. And you can see now, we have a nice badge for the build. Now, for this tutorial is everything. I showed how to create a distribution package from your local environment, how to publish it to the test and production Python package index, and how to automate it using GitHub Actions. So um, this is how I'm handling my projects. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.